Hey friends, today we are visiting the best city in the Czech Republic, my own hometown city of Bezenets. I'll let you do the, uh, oh, how do I say it? I always mess up the start. <laughs> I will let you decide, but I'm going to show you some of the sites in our village. I find a secret cave. I find a 300 year old tree. I even show you my favorite place to eat. This is my comprehensive guide of the city of Bezenets, the best city in the Czech Republic. Don't go to Prague anymore, guys. Bezenets is it. Czech Republic, especially, especially if you're not moving to Prague. So this is my little tour of the small village life that I live in. I hope you enjoy. And also, I just looked up last night, you know, the Zenits on uh, YouTube and my, none of my videos were there. So I'm hoping that this video will soon be number one on the search. Let's go. Hope you enjoy the tour. to uh, stop working for a sec. My hands are black, but we're back. One thing about living in a small village is... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, a little cat. The bar's really cool here, actually. You can just take your pets there. Thank you. One of the big things about small city life is that uh, the beer is probably half the price that it is in Prague and I know many people go to Prague for the cheap beer. But once you leave that district, that area where everyone's like so together uh, and get out to some smaller cities, the beer is about half the price. And people like me who live here, we think the beer is very expensive in Prague. So that's a little bit of a plus if you are living in a small city. Porco. Oh my god, it's so hot today. Today's like uh it's been really, really hot, like uh, 30 degrees, really dry heat. Like, there's a heat wave going through Europe at the moment. And it is killing me. Like, it's been too hot to leave the house. I would have liked to have made more videos, but I'm just dying. Dying. Now, the pub behind me was called Uparku, which means it's close to a park, or park, or playground, or something. Anyways, this is the playground. I kind of find it a little bit funny. Uh, anyways, there's seating to, like, watch your kids while they play in the playground. And that is the playground. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. <laughs> now in my village there are eight different bars. So if beer is like one of your things with a population of uh, like 4,570 people plus me, uh, yeah, there's eight bars to serve all of us. But if beer is not your thing, there are some nice trails you can walk on and there's beautiful nature everywhere. The only thing is, I just never know where this starts and where it ends. So that's, unless you know what's going on, this doesn't make any sense. But 
I think you could probably follow it that way or, or that way and then the next post will look exactly the same and you kind of are meant to know uh, where to go but yeah there's definitely things to do if you don't drink alcohol big trails there's a big forest uh, down here and I'll take you there soon and I think the trail goes all the way up past the Stutterhadart or uh, no sorry yeah or, or chapel uh, which I'll take you there as well but uh, yeah there's not much to do in this small little village life but it's like quiet and chilled and kind of like relaxing you know things aren't moving too fast I also live in like a wine making region of Moravia so uh, if you're after some wine we are the place to go but also there are some really cool sights to see and I'm gonna show you some of them right now okay so if you come to Bazenas right you have to check out the chateau which is called uh, Zamek and it is a very historical building in Bazenas and has really stood the test of time through everything and in 1853, there was some reconstruction with the owner, uh, Count Wilhelm. But, Count Wilhelm, Count Wilhelm, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Count Wilhelm come under some financial troubles. Things weren't working out. Apparently this building was made the wrong way. It was meant to be completely uh, 180 degrees. There was one other tower that had to be taken away because it was like, precariously uh, leaning to one side and eventually the pressure was so high that Count Wilhelm had to take his own life which is very sad but this is definitely one of the coolest spots in Bazenas I would say. Now it is even said that late at night you can still see the silhouette of Count Wilhelm protecting the land he once owned. Spooky eh? And definitely spooky if it was true, I just made that up on the spot. But uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to add a ghost story somehow. And I think I've done a pretty good job of it. Now they say the city of Prague is a city of 1,000 spires. Well, in Bezenets, we have one. And it's right here at the Church of John Baptist. Now this place was established in 1703. Obviously since then, it's been under a few reconstructions, but the original vault is meant to be still underground which is where the priest and special people from the town used to be buried and if you had enough money you could be buried here too so I guess you could say uh, Bezenets is the city of one spire Uh, Hitsu obiet? Okay. 
Vinku, uh, okay. Okay, what do we got today? Yeah, I think today I'll get uh, Kujetsi steak. Potatoes and Tasca, which is like a really delicious, uh, it's kind of like tartia sauce, but I think it's a little bit different. Prosim, Yasidam, Kujetsi steak. Velký pivo. 11, 12. A 11, prosím. Ty polevku? Ne, je to horko. Dobre. Yeah, děkuju. Vezenis is a great place if you want to uh, you know, leave the busy, fast-paced life of the metro cities. And uh, it's just a nice place to relax. There's beer, there's food, there's definitely sights to see. But in terms of fun, I'm gonna delve into that just a little bit later in this vlog. But now it's time for lunch. I ordered this five minutes ago. Great thing about uh, Czech restaurants are that usually the food is really, really fast. What I've got here is chicken steak. Uh, topped with uh, ham, cheese, got the tataska, which is the Czech kind of tartia sauce, but a little bit different. And there looks like there's a delicious gravy. Oh my god. Perfect lunch. That's why this is one of my favorite places to go. Cheers. Chicken breast. Dip it in that gravy. The gravy is kind of like a chicken stock gravy. Mm. And this is 150 crowns. Uh, usually comes with a soup, but for me it's too hot for soup. Yeah, but I'm gonna enjoy this and then we're off to the chapel on top of the hill. And we're gonna find a secret passage that once they said used to lead to another castle. Look forward to it. I'm so sorry for the sound in advance, but it is super windy today. And actually that helps me with my story, really. This is probably the most famous spot in Bizenitz, the Chapel of St. Florian. Now, this was reconstructed in 2017, so it looks very new. But before that, there was a little bit of history. First built in 1703, and it used to be in a ruin quite recently. Uh, it was built on top of the foundation that was once a great castle in Bizenitz. Now this has like the perfect spot to see enemies coming into the town, to see everything in this whole village. So this is the spot that you really want to be back in these times. Now the old castle has said to have a secret passageway that went from under here and all the way to a castle called Buklov which is really far away and quite not believable. But I'm hoping today that I can find the secret passageway which is said to be anywhere around here. Now, unfortunately, I can't go inside today because it's not open. I think more on the weekends it is open and we can have a look. But I promise to take you there one day. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately, because of this uh, great spot that this chapel is on top of, it's like really in a good spot I don't know if you say good it's a good spot for lots of wind and lots of thunder so that ruins the first building of this before the reconstruction and after World War II when the German men were retreating back to Germany they blew up what was left of the ruin and completely ruined everything and that was so nobody could look out from the top of this hill no enemies could look out and see what was happening down here Pretty interesting but yeah today now it stands 2017 it's back in all this glory it is actually now a chapel of any faith and a lot of people come here 
for their weddings around summertime. Usually in summer you'll see some kind of wedding up here. Also there's like lots of great uh, events they hold up here as well. But let's go and find that uh, secret tunnel that I've heard about. I literally, usually I do a little bit more research but I don't know where this is. So we're, we're finding it together. chapel okay uh, so I've gone down the hill a little bit uh, apparently it was filled up by the council this hole so because it was becoming a little bit of a danger so I don't expect to uh, see a full cave but I would like to see something we'll see this is this could be it but I don't think so I can show you on the map how far away this Bookloft castle is like it is so far away so it's kind of like unimaginable that this cave went that way but uh, everyone loves good myth you know I don't know there's like a road here and there's like a big ravine so I think this is where some water goes sometimes Check it out. Uh, just to hold the tension there, make sure to like and subscribe. Like, subscribe, push the little alert thingy. And yeah, man, we discovered a cave together. Woo! Oh! So many flies. Wow. And what's in this one? Not much as well. Oh my God. Really get that sense of adventure, eh? Uh, yeah, so it, it said that uh, the chapel is probably 20 meters that way. This cave, I think I can find a big picture of it when it was like open, but this cave got like filled in just because of the danger of it like collapsing. All of this is like sand, sandstone, really like erosive, really doesn't do well with time. But, uh, wow, we found it. I really, really wish that it was still open because that is amazing. Wow. I have to find more things like this in my city. Like I think not many people know about this, <sighs> but it's hot and my legs are stinging. Stinging nettle, I've got prickles in my socks. I'm getting out of here and we go on to the next spot. But I'm glad we got to come here together. So many things. And yeah, there's a chapel right there. I would say 20 meters away, maybe less. Just because the, the ground went down like that. So it's a bit more deceiving. Let's get out of this windy, desolate hill. The best part about being up at that chapel is going down on the bike. Especially with one hand and a GoPro. Ow! And now, so my next stop after this is uh, is the Moravian Sahara, which is just what you think the name sounds like, the desert. 
But there's one thing about our desert that's a little bit different. So when you think of Sahara, you think desolate, dead, brown, death, I don't know, super cold at night, skiing, boobs that feel like sandbags, doesn't matter. Anyway, so yeah, we live very close to the Moravian Sahara and this is where you're gonna find a lot of the trails that you can walk in. And uh, what's completely unique about this Sahara is that there is trees everywhere. It's such a beautiful spot, but so very strange how much sand there is here. See, just like I said, the walking track and the next tree is there. So if, you, if coming to Bazenets and doing one of the walking tracks is something you want to do, pretty much you just follow this one, or well, it's pretty simple here, go to this one, find the next one. And it's usually like on the same path, like it's pretty hard to get lost. And the other ones are just over there as well. And they go that way. Just the difference is when you're in the, in the, in the main square, in the center of the city, they're a little bit harder to fight. I think this is the spot. I'm actually on a treasure hunt again to find a very old, uh, well, if I find it, you'll find out, but that's what I'm looking for. I'm on a treasure hunt again. This is the sign I was looking for. Oh, man. Really gonna work out today, it's great. Okay, so it says, it's half a kilometer that way. Let's go. This is pretty cute, someone's carved it out of the wood. L and A, I hope life's great for you. And if some guy just made that, hoping that it, the girl, you'd get the girl. I hope you got the girl, buddy. I hope you got the girl and vice versa. Now in the second half of the 18th century, there was a, I don't know how to say it, Bezenet Robin Hood. There was a man named Vincent Zizka, and he would steal from the rich and give to the poor. And this obviously didn't resonate well with the local authorities, so they put a bounty on his head. And to the dismay of the village people, Vincent Zizka was let down and ratted out by one of his friends. But as the authorities chased him down, Vincent came to this forest and hid in this tree above me here. It is said that it was a long and almighty battle, and when one of the men ran out of bullets, he took a button from his shirt, put it in the gun, and shot Vincent Zizka dead. And I have never ever seen this in my whole two years of living here and I'm so excited that I got to see it and share the legend with you. Perfect <laughs> combination. Perfect. Perfect. Please go. Uh, biking. Biking, yeah, come here. We need to music a restaurant tour. Restaurant tour. Beer tour. Beer, beer. Beer, beer, beer tour. Yidlo. Shoshku. Beer tour. Oh, perfect. Okay. Ciao. Ciao, taxi miete. Ahoy, ahoy. 
Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> That was cool, there was a couple of guys biking through here. Uh, one lives in Bzenens, the other lives in uh, Vesili Nad Moravo, so that's just down the road. And they are doing a beer tour. That sounds perfect to me, I should just follow them. <laughs> I tried to tell them, uh, well I had to use my translator, I tried to tell them that the, whoosh, the story about uh, Vincent Zizka, but they don't know. All they know is uh, beer and wine and woman and meat. So, really the perfect Czech men, really. Nice to meet you guys. Now it's said that the town people were really sad about this because Jizka was a symbol of hope from the oppression. So the legend of Jizka still lives and I think this tree died in 2013, 2012. So it is still here as a memorial. It probably will not be here forever, you know. The town council have planted one more. But it's gonna take a while for our next Yishka to be able to climb that. Maybe it's gonna be me. No, definitely it's not gonna hold me. <laughs> and this whole area is called Bezenetske Dobrava, which I think means Bezenets Oak. And so there was a problem once people started like cutting down all the oak trees, using it for houses what's, what, or whatnot. It was just sand and there was nothing that would grow here again. In like 1823, there was a man called Jan Bechtel. I hope I got that correct. So Jan was a bit of a pioneer, right? He was doing his own thing, you know, being a cool guy. You know, I'll just re rescue this forest. So oak was out. Oak took too long to grow back and he needed to find something else. He needed to bring life to this place. Through testing, trialing, he ended up with a uh, pine, which grows really fast, completely changes the whole environment, brings life and shade. Shade is a big one. Completely changed the temperature of this whole area. So if you can imagine, there was no shade here before. In short, our man uh, Jan was a pretty big legend. Maybe not as big as a legend as me, but probably pretty close. That is the story of the Moravian Sahara and the oak tree that used to be here. I think even here is like a, maybe like a national treasure. Amatni Strom. I think it's probably protected. Pretty cool. I gotta go home and feed the kids. Gotta feed myself. But I hope you enjoy this vlog, because I loved making this vlog. Oh, I loved recording this vlog. I'm gonna go and edit it now. Can't wait, but yeah, I hope you really enjoyed my tour of Bazenets because this is what life is all about here. And guys, you know, earlier when I said in terms of fun, fun is whatever you make it. So there is definitely something for you to do in Bazenets. The fun all starts with you. I hope you enjoy the vlog. See you next time. Wait, how do I get home from here?